Yo, hello, what's up everyone? My name is Bilores and today we are back with a new guide and today it's gonna be a smithing slash money making guide. So what you want to do is the blast furnace. You probably already heard about it because this is like one of the best ways to make money even though there's really a lot of bots as you guys can see. Look at this really oh my fucking god. But yeah, you can make money with smithing and even a whole lot of money and what you want to do is come here you will need 30 uh, smithing but it's recommended having a 60 smithing if you don't have 60 smithing what you want to do is come talk to the dwarven miner over here and you want to pay him a certain amount of money every um, every 10 minutes but if you're 60 smithing you don't need to pay anything to that guy and you can do it all by yourself. Look at all those butts though. <laughs> now what's so good about the blast furnace and how does this make you money and not just making regular bars? Why does this make you so much more money? Well look at this. For one mitral bar you will need 4 coal and 1 mitral ore. If you make 1 mitral bar at the blast furnace. You only need 2 coal and 1 material bar. That means that it doesn't matter what bar you're making, it will always be half of the coal. So for ruin it, instead of 8 coal, you only have to pay 4 coal. And at the same time you do 1 inventory straight. So yeah, that's that's really crazy. What the hell. Anyway, so how do you get here? Um, very easy, you just want to go to the minigame tab. You want to go to... Uh, blast furnace and click on teleport after that you will teleport in front of that door over there and you just want to open this door this door and this door and after that you want to climb down those stairs they will be over here and you will see normally all those bots if you don't see all those bots that means that you will have to come to le world 358 like this all right you want to come to that world if you don't see any bots if you see bots it's fine so why do you have to come to this uh, world and not a world where uh, there's no one else well that's for a simple reason you want to smith bars over here but this little uh, thing doesn't work alone you will have to refuel stove you will have to refuel this you will have to go to this um, pedals you will have to all do all that shit but if you do this you do it for anyone else all right so if you do it once it will work for anyone else so some people will do it for you as well so what that means is that if you come to this world you won't have to do all the work yourself so first off first off first what you want to do is just take um, a full inventory of coal if you have a coal bag that's completely better because that way you can take two inventories of coal in one uh, how do you get a coal bag very very simple you just don't want to go to the motor load mine I made a guide on that click the first link in the description if you want to see that guide all right after that you want to climb up this um, wooden thingy and you want to put or on conveyor belt so you click on that and now you will say yes and now all your coal will be on this shit all right what you want to do is now is just go back and now it all depends on what or you're making all right I'm making mitral bars and that's the one I really recommend but you can also do like uh, steel bars so yeah if you want to do mitral bars you will need two inventories of coal so right now I've done one coal inventory so I'm going to do a second one and after that I'm going to do the mitral one so you just put it over here Go back to the bank chest and I'll take a inventory of mitral ore. Then you want to put those ores there as well. So now what is gonna happen? Now those machine is gonna make it all into a full inventory of mitral bars. But for that the machine has to work. Now there's a whole lot of shit over here, right? There's pedals. So then you want to pedal like this guy is doing. And it will work for anyone else, alright? So he pedaled for me and anyone else. All those bots in the rooms as well. But the bots don't do this shit. So don't wait for other people to do it. Because 
Yeah, you will have to do some of those things yourself because if not, it's not gonna work because those are all bots that won't do anything for you. Some people will actually help you, but don't expect that anything will be done for you. If you really want a lot of profit and XP an hour, I recommend that you do some of those work yourself. As you guys can see, this gives me a small amount of strength XP. So if you're a uh, scaler, I don't recommend. I recommend that you do some other things or that you let this do by someone else. All right. If you're a scaler, don't do this shit. Okay, then. You also got this over here. You want to pick up the spade. There's also always a spade, all right? And then you want to collect from the coke over here and you want to refuel stuff. And you want to do repeat that until you think like, yeah, now I'm fucking bored of it, you know? Just do that. All right. Now I'm already bored of it. Now, I'm going to show how to pedal. It's very easy. You just click on uh, the pedals right now. There's someone pedaling. So yeah, pedal. And now you will get a whole lot of, not a whole lot, you will get small amounts of uh, agility XP. So there's a whole lot of other shit, like for example, um, take a butt bucket of water, or yeah, a bucket of water, and then you wanna use that on the bar dispenser, and that will cool down, and then you can take your bars, alright? There will also be like with a ha hammer, sometimes you'll have to make those pipes as this guy was doing. There's a whole lot of that kind of shit, but that's mostly done by other people, so don't worry about that. After that, you just take your inventory, you will get some um, smithing XP for every time your metro bars are made. Bang them, and you repeat the process. And if you have to pay, you just pay again if the two minutes are over, but yeah. So that's actually how you do this. Well... You can make a whole lot of money out of this, it depends what bars you're making. I'm making a whole lot of money with those mithril bars and the XP isn't the best in game but it's decent, let's say. Alright people, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did so, please don't forget to subscribe for more videos, don't forget to like the video, don't forget to comment if you have any questions, I'm sure I will try to help you and the other viewers will try to help you as well. Thanks for watching, see you guys later and bye!